What is up you guys? Glitches here and welcome to the very final episode of the God of War playthrough. It's been an awesome run up to this point. Uh, we just took out Baldur Freya, who we found out was his mother, is not too happy about it, but Midgard and the world of God of War is a better place with her alive. He was trying to kill her, so we made that sacrifice and then made the call to stop him. We will probably find out how she comes around in Ragnarok, so that'll be an interesting dynamic that we'll have to see uh, how that goes once the game comes out. Uh, but yeah, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to reach the highest peak in Jotunheim and finish the request that our wife and Atreus' mother gave us to sprinkle her ashes. So that is what we are going to do. So let's go here. the unity stone didn't it i wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity okay tell me again how odin, knew your odin is extremely clever you see nearly as clever as he thinks he is and he's a collector of prophecies if it's about the future he adds it to his collection helps him style himself as all seeing and all knowing but of course the idea is control Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Yeah, it just dawned on me that we, uh, probably could have gone a different way here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to go to Tears Temple. So let's try that again. <laughs> It's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Oh, I wonder if that happens in Ragnarok. That'd be pretty crazy. We see the birth of the World Serpent. That'd be dope. I would pick the very last one. There we go. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Mamir's got, got his eyes now, so that should work. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. 
Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Go. We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. Look at that stairwell. Stairwell of a giant, if you ask me. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight- My lady sifts soft perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. <gasps> I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Here we go. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Little baggies held up pretty good. Carry her. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? 
Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. I didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. A giant god. <laughs> Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Hmm. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
Look at that. They're all giants. That's so cool. I had forgotten how this game ends. It's been so long. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. That mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You with your kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep the secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier, a Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We oh, missed it. I understand if you want to go home. 
but maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad you went with yours. <laughs> Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Time to head back home. than you like to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens were the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. And that approximately Another prophecy. No, brother. I'm telling you, it's Pimble Winter. I can feel it in my scroat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was it's bound to snow sooner or later. It ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason. Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is... Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Well, thank you. Dead alchemist for something I'm stewing up. not take this teleportation oh, okay now it's activated I was gonna say why is Odin so desperate to find a way into Yodenheim anyway He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah... Remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. We're finally home! Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Years later. What's that? The ball.
dun dun dun. What a game. And obviously, that is Thor. Who we are going to be meeting in Ragnarok. Not going to watch any of the spoilers. I know YouTube is filled with them right now, but that's not how we roll on this channel. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this series, be sure to smash that like button. It is greatly appreciated. And obviously, the only reason we did this playthrough was to set us up story-wise for Ragnarok. I already plan on doing a playthrough of that as well as soon as it releases. So look forward to that. Should be coming out within the next few days. But yeah, hope you guys had a great day. If you want to keep up to date on all the future content, especially the Ragnarok content, consider subscribing, turn on that notification bell. But until the next one, you guys, hope you had a great day, and we will see you all later. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but... I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Bum, bum, bum. See you guys later.